In this video, we're going to look at how we record petty cash payments. Well, to record petty cash payments, we go through exactly the same process that we would for um, normal cash purchases or um, bank payments. We go into the bank accounts module. This time, as the payments are being made out of petty cash, I will select petty cash. Then go up to the payments icon up at the top. There's a little drop down uh, list below it. Then I can and I can select bank payment. You'll notice that the bank that this money is coming out of is entitled Petty Cash, and this is where the uh, uh, the cash will be withdrawn from. So in our bank column, I'd make sure that the Petty Cash. Um, that nominal code was selected. Then in the date column, I can record the date of the um, uh, petty cash payment. Uh, in the reference, we would uh, record the uh, petty cash voucher that where the uh, payment is recorded. I might have an extra reference. And then in the nominal code, I would identify the um, appropriate code to set this payment against. For instance, if it was uh, a payment for um, postage, then I would see if I can find an appropriate um, uh, code for that. So I'll select postage and stationery. I'll leave the next three columns blank as um, we're not covering uh, departments, project references or cost codes on this course. And in the details, I can, uh, I can write a description of what was purchased. In the next column, I would record the net amount uh, of the payment. Um, just to remind you, um, and this is particularly the case with petty cash payments, we might have the gross amount, we might know that VAT has been charged on that, but we might not have the split. When this happens, what I would do is I would put the gross amount in the net column and then click on that calculate net uh, button up at the top. And then Sage will then split uh, the gross payment between the, uh, net and VAT elements. Um, what is also the case is that um, with petty cash, we often make payments um, where there is no VAT, and that is the case with postage. So here we've got a total cost of £33.70, but there's no VAT on that, so I've got to make sure that I select a tax code where there's no VAT. Um, I'm going to select T code T2 for postage and there we can see that um, Sage has now got rid of the VAT element on that uh, particular um, petty cash payment. On the next row I can then uh, record the next petty cash voucher and so on. Once I've recorded everything that I'm going to record in this table, I will click on Sage, uh, Save, and Sage will then update its records for that information. And that is how we record petty cash payments.